All right, so we're starting this vlog off a little different today. I'm actually filming from my phone because it is Sunday. Uh, I've just been out driving just casually today because uh, it's pretty nice weather and I just wanted to go for a drive. That's what I do many times when you know I have uh, some downtime and I didn't really plan on filming anything whatsoever. So I'm, I'm sitting here in my car. I'm actually at my dealership. It's Bobby Ray on Mercedes because I was driving about an hour ago close to where I live and I hit a pothole in this car. I mean, hey bud. Mike, what's going on buddy? Hey man, the car doesn't seem completely messed up but I do notice a vibration in the steering wheel now a little bit at higher speeds and the steering okay. wheel is kind of slightly off centered. So I'm hoping it's just an alignment. I hit a pothole, I mean it was a bang. So I'm, I'm actually outside hey, of the you, dealership now. Okay, uh, so you know the, the glass door that you normally go in? Yeah. Um, pull up to the next door, the actual shop door. It'll open automatically and just pull in. I, I just called my, uh, because the only guys that are there are the, uh, are the evening crew and they're, okay. you know, they're typically not customer facing. They just do my, you know, my used cars and stuff like that, okay. but they can at least, uh, put it up on the rack for you, uh, and spin the wheels to see, you know, make sure you didn't lose a wheel weight, make sure one of your wheels isn't bent. Right. Um, and make sure you don't have like a bulge on the inside of your tire or something like that. We won't be able to check the alignment today, um, but we'd at least be able to make sure you're safe. If you do have a bent wheel, which is my guess, you probably have a slight bend, which is giving you the vibration, or you knocked a wheel weight off, which is you know best case scenario. Mm -hmm. If that's if that's the case, we can you know balance it for you real quick and get you back on the road, and you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, you're probably going to have to see somebody about getting the wheel straightened or getting a replacement if it's cracked or something oh yeah i'm hoping that's not the case okay all right well let me just pull it in here then and uh yeah well we'll just see what's up and i'll call you right after sounds good buddy let me know all right thanks so much for your help man you bet man all right bye 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 all right so i was actually interrupted by uh Trent, who's the general manager here, a really good guy. Um, I, I texted him and told him that I wanted to come in first thing Monday to have this looked at. And he said, I actually have techs uh, at the shop right now that are working on used cars and stuff. So they can, you guys heard it yourself, they can get it up on the rack, uh, take a look. Hopefully I don't have a bent wheel because if I do, man, I, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do then because that, that's going to be tough i mean i still have my stock wheels thank god so i can put them on but you know i don't want my brand new wheels to be uh bent but what i'm going to do here i'm going to pull the car in we're going to have a t have them take a look at it and i'm going to show you guys the webcam footage of when i hit the pothole Alright, so as you guys could tell, that thump when I hit the uh, pothole, is it's pretty massive. I mean, it was loud. And I couldn't do anything else but cuss because it pissed me off big time. So now, they're going to pull it up on the rack, go over the car, see that one of the wheels aren't bent, see that one of the wheel weights didn't fall off. We won't be able to align the car because the proper guy who does the alignments are not here today. So if it is an alignment issue, we're going to have to do that tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just hoping for the best here. Um, this damn car. I wasn't planning on filming anything now. <laughs> See, that's the problem because sometimes you might think. Through. Oh, yeah, geez, I can see it. Look. Look how it's flat. Oh, yeah. damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I figured I'd check the left front. No, too. that's good. Yeah. That was uh, pr pretty, uh, that oh, was yeah. Pretty you can obviously see that. Oh, yeah. That oh, one. Yeah, yeah. That's bad. Yeah, luckily it didn't lose oh, any air. Oh, my air. God. But yeah, that's it right here. Let me grab a crayon. Let me grab a crayon. So it's right here is where the wheel is bent. Yep.
Yeah, this one looks perfectly true. Uh, yeah. This doesn't look like it has anything. I sure hope it's just one wheel. I mean, it's got to be just that one, uh, the left front wheel there, because that's where I felt the impact. Yeah, this one isn't bent at all. I'm just looking for a bubble or anything, just yeah. to make sure. Just, you don't need that. I think you're, honestly, yeah, that left front is, I think, the, the culprit for your vibration. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I mean, it's visible big time here. So here is the issue right here, guys. Right here, between these two markings here. You guys can see how the wheel is bent. And for those that haven't seen an undercarriage of a C63 before, here you go. All right, so here we are. You guys heard it yourself. You saw it yourself. The problem, I didn't want to be the problem, uh, is the problem. So the, the wheel is slightly bent um, it's not a safety issue to drive on it like I said I only feel the vibration when I'm up at higher speeds now however this of course needs to be fixed ASAP so tomorrow morning which is Monday um, I will be talking to uh, the dealership here they have people that, that can fix wheels that they work with and so on so most likely what will end up happening is that they have to heat treat that part of the wheel and then I guess they bang it out but when you heat treat a wheel fixing it that way it weakens that part of the wheel so I've actually talked to Velos Design Works already uh, my wheel is a two-piece uh, wheel meaning it's not a one-piece monoblock where if the wheel is bent you would have to get a brand new wheel which is about a two thousand dollar cost it will be the inner tube of the wheel that will have to be replaced most likely which of course will cost less now as I mentioned they will fix the wheel um, but you know I, I don't want to drive around on a wheel that is not 100% even though it might feel like it's 100% because it is fixed I know I'm rambling on here but please stick with me my point is that when I go down to Florida get the car tuned and uh, get the downpipes on and everything I'll get a, a new inner piece for the wheel so that is where I'm at right now. I'm actually gonna to try to go to the spot where the pothole was and I'm gonna show you which one it was. Um, but it's just how it is in Pittsburgh. It is completely horrible, especially after you know the snow starts melting and with all the salt that's been uh, on the roads, that's why all these potholes are created. Um, yeah, that's where we're at in the process right now. I'm gonna drive the car home. Like I said, you know, it's drivable. It's, it's not a safety issue that way. Uh, it's just that I feel the vibration in the steering wheel when you hit highway speeds. It's not really an issue at all when I'm just driving, you know, normal speeds, you know, city driving. But I'm going to start rambling now. Um, yeah. Okay, so I've been home and I dropped the, uh, the bends off. I jumped in the truck and now we're going to go to the spot where this area of just a bunch of potholes that are covering a full lane. Now... I've driven here before and there's been potholes but I think that with winter and you know all the snow melting and everything as I explained earlier that area is just now filled so there is no way of getting around these potholes so if you hit this part right here you're done for and we're coming up to the spot right here with my hazards on and this is where it's at right here And it's all over the road right here. And right after it, there's potholes right here. And over here, you guys can see a patch that they fixed. This was bad as well a few days ago. But again, new potholes. You know, it's, it's easy for me to say, you know, stupid state of Pennsylvania because um, they never fix the potholes. Or when they do it, they do it badly. Uh, that's why Pittsburgh is called the Pothole City. But, you know, I mean, this is an area of where I live that I drive a lot, and I should have been more careful. You know, just because I thought I could slalom through that little area there, I, I shouldn't have been driving in that lane. I should have been in the, the left lane where there's no potholes whatsoever. I guess you always have to keep in mind that, you know, during these spring times or, you know, late winter times, there can be about five new potholes in the same spot overnight. But tomorrow we're gonna see uh, how quickly we can get my wheel fixed.
All right, so welcome to day two of this uh, debacle here. I'm actually at a place called Alloy Wheel Repair. So what we're doing today is we're actually fixing my wheel. So as you guys can see right here, it is off the car. The car is up on a jack here. They can fix the wheel, but to me, it's still gonna be a temporary fix. So whenever I go down to Miami and visit Velos Design Works, they're gonna have a new inner tube for me. So good thing is that everything's gonna be taken care of today. And obviously I didn't get a flat tire either, which is nice. It's just the wheel that is bent and that can be fixed. So, you know, these, these tires aren't cheap either. So I'm glad I didn't have to replace the one tire as well. What happens here when you bend a wheel in, it actually bends out next to the area of the impact. Uh -huh. So it crushes in here and comes out. Oh. And whenever you straighten it, you need to, uh, you need to make sure that you true both, all, all three spots. Right, right. Just have to measure the temperature properly. So maximum 375 degrees, you said? You don't want to go high. Okay. Okay, so we're finally finished here. Um, the wheel is back to the way it's supposed to be. It's balanced. It's going back on the car. So big thanks to Steve at Alloy Wheel Repair for hooking me up on short notice. Definitely check them out. If you live around this uh, Pittsburgh area here and you have, uh, what's your specialty? Like curved wheels, you know, wheel finishing and uh, wheel repair in general, correct? Cosmetic damage, straightening, powder coating. Yeah. Anything wheel related we can handle. Really happy they could do it so, so quickly. And, uh, Special thanks to Bobby Rahal Mercedes and the, the manager Trent down there as well because uh, otherwise I'd probably have to wait for a little longer here. So uh, yeah, it was a crappy situation but it ended well. So, And just real quick here, regarding uh, the bolts that I got, the customizable one, people kept telling me that I need a locking lug nut because it looks like I don't have one but I do. So look at the top of this one versus that one. Ta -da. We are safe. So I'm back out on the road here and what I want to do is get the car out on the highway real quick so we can get it up to speed and make sure that I don't feel the vibration in the steering wheel. Oh freaking potholes. Are you fucking... Yeah I can tell already at a speed of 55 miles an hour that it feels completely different. It feels like it did before this happened. Meaning no, no vibrations. But it's safe to say that the wheel is fixed and the car drives the way it's supposed to. There's no weird vibrations and the car isn't acting different, which is, you know, what I wanted. Oh, look at that. CL550. Love the old CLs, man. They're beautiful. So Steve, the guy who worked on my wheel, he's worked on thousands of them. They work for dealerships, uh, private people, all kinds of wheels, you know, whether they're cheap or they're extremely expensive. He's worked on a lot of Mercedes's, he's worked on, you know, Ferraris, all kinds of brands. And he was very impressed with the quality of this Velo's wheel. And I'm I'm happy that it is a forged wheel, that it's this sturdy and that, it's, that it didn't crack. That's the important part because if the wheel was cracked, that'd be a brand new wheel. But enough babbling here while I'm uh, semi stuck in traffic. I'll see you guys back at the house. I just wanted to end the video with saying that I'm very happy that this wheel uh, issue, this whole problem was fixed. Of course, I don't want to make negative, you know, videos dramatic, you know, my car's broken and stuff. My car's not broken, but the wheel was bent, which it really freaked me out in the beginning, uh, which is kind of made that Instagram post that I was pissed at cars in the shop because it was in the shop and I didn't know how easily this was going to be fixed. Like I've said probably 19 times already, I'm still going to get a new inner tube uh, whenever I go down to Miami. So the wheel is definitely 100%. Uh, it feels 100%. So, but I, I want the wheels are brand new, so I want that part to be brand new as well. So, um, yeah. Thanks so much for uh, watching this video. I don't know if I should say, I hope you guys enjoyed it, but uh, maybe some of you did. Anyway, all is well, it ended well. This car looks so damn good at nighttime. Black, I love these rear taillights, man. They are beautiful. Anyway, if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.